Hi friends, so in this video we are going to see uh, what is error correction. So error correction is comes under the semiconductor memory. So semiconductor memory is subject to errors. So number of errors may occur. So here we are just categorizing the errors into two. One is the heart failure and second one is a soft error. So if you are considering the heart failure, this heart failure is related to the physical defect. So example, if you are storing the data, the data will be stored in the memory cell. If the particular memory cell is physically damaged, you can't store any data into that. So that is physical defect. So in this, one memory cell may be affected by the physical damage or set of memory cells may be affected by the particular physical damage. So here, the particular cell may be stuck with value one or zero. So while you're retrieving, while you're storing, so this memory cell may not cooperate. So you can't store, the user can't store any value into that particular memory cell or the user can't retrieve any value from the particular memory cell. So this is called physical defect or heart failure. And the second type is soft error. The soft error is a random one. So here, if the user is storing the data into the memory cell, that after storing the data, the content may be changed because, because of any uh, unwanted access or it may be the unwanted uh, program execution or something like that. So the content of the memory may be changed. So that particular error may be called as a soft error. So if you are uh, facing the heart failure, so only thing you can report. So the operating system may report this error to the user, but the soft error if you're taking, so this particular error may be corrected with the help of additional functions or additional features. So next slide, we will see how this error can be handled. This is the block diagram of error correcting code function. So in this particular block diagram, we need to remember three things. So one is the M that is a data bit and K is the code bit and the F is the code bit function. Okay, just consider this diagram. So here this is the memory and this is the character and that is a comparison function. And here these are the lines that is a data in, data out and error signal. Okay. So now here just consider M is the data bit. So that data bit is applied or it is sent to the particular memory location. So there it will be stored. So before that, so how it will be stored. So here the same data bit that is M will be applied to the code function that is F. So that code function will generate some that is a code bit. So code bit will be generated. So both M and K will be stored in the memory location. So while retrieving the data, the data bits will be separately, it will be retrieved and the code bits will be retrieved separately. The same time here again, while retrieving the particular data bits, so that data bit again will be applied to the code function, then it will be generates that particular code bit. So now here, this is the first code function and this is the second code function. So this code function may be used for the data as storing into the particular memory location. That is the first function. And the second function will be used to while the data is retrieved, retrieved from the particular memory location. So now here the comparison, while the comparison is happen between the second code fun code bit and the first code bit. So both the code bits will be compared in the comparison function if there is any error in the comparison. So it will be given the signal to the character. So again the character will get the memory that is a data bit will be collected here. Then the correcting based on the error then the data will be out with the data out. Okay. So now if the, if the after comparing this if the error is not able to correct it with the character, so what will be there? So the comparison function will give the signal that is an error signal. So while retrieving the data, there is some error, that particular error is not able to correct it. So this is how your memory location will be verified with the data in point of the day while the data is stored in the memory location while it's retrieved also there is a two function will be used one is the code function one and the code function two so the both the code functions will generate the code bit that is a k bit will be generated so while storing m and k will be stored in the memory location 
and the second time while it's retrieving the data will be accessed separately and the code bits will be accessed separately so again while retrieval the data will, bit will be applied to the code function again the code bit will be generated so both the code bits will be compared so if during the comparison if there is no error so data directly will be out but if there is any error it will be corrected it will be sent to the corrector then the corrector will do the correction and the original data will be sent out so this is how the error correction function will be working in related to the memory access so memory access means while the data store and the data retrieval thank you